Normalde videoların başında bu şekilde çıkmam ama olabildiğince hızlı şekilde sizi listening egzersizleri diyelim testin içine atmak istedim. 60 dakikalık bir egzersiz ve dinleti göreceksiniz ama ekrandan hep yazıyla destek olacağım. Gittikçe zorlaşacak. İlk başta Türkçesi bile olacak ekranda. British English, American English ikisi de olacak ve sizin kulağınızı göreceğiz bakalım İngilizceniz ne seviye. Tam ortasına geldiğimizde 30. dakikalarda 100 kelimelik bir test yapacağız size. İki kere duyacaksınız o kelimeleri American English ile ve bakalım kelimeyi anlayabiliyor musunuz? İngilizceniz yeterli mi? O kelime anlamını bilmeseniz ve nasıl yazıldığını en azından anlayabiliyor musunuz? Bir diğer olay sonrasında bir 30 dakikalık diyalog serisi var. Orayı da sağlıklı bir şekilde dinleyebileceğinize inanıyorum. Bazı metinleri, bazı diyalogları ilk önce yalın haliyle koydum. Sonrasında arkaya sokak sesi, restoran sesi gibi zorlaştırıcı şeyler attım. Gelin görelim bakalım İngilizceniz ne seviye? A man from South Africa finds special stones in a field. The stones look like crystals. The man thinks that the stones are diamonds. The man speaks to other people in his village. A man from South Africa finds special stones in a field. The stones look like crystals. The man thinks that the stones are diamonds. The man speaks to other people in his village. A man from South Africa finds special stones in a field. The stones look like crystals. The man thinks that the stones are diamonds. The man speaks to other people in his village. A man from South Africa finds special stones in a field. A man from South Africa finds special stones in a field. The stones look like crystals. The stones look like crystals. The man thinks that the stones are diamonds. The man thinks that the stones are diamonds. The man speaks to other people in his village. The man speaks to other people in his village. More than a thousand people run to the field. They look for the stones. They hope that they will find them. They want to be rich. More than a thousand people run to the field. They look for the stones. They hope that they will find them. They want to be rich. More than a thousand people run to the field. They look for the stones. They hope that they will find them. They want to be rich. More than a thousand people run to the field. More than a thousand people run to the field. They look for the stones. They look for the stones. They hope that they will find them. They hope that they will find them. They want to be rich. They want to be rich. A man found stones which looked like crystals in the ground near a village in South Africa. The man told other people about the discovery, and more than a thousand people rushed to the field. They wanted to find some stones, too. A man found stones which looked like crystals in the ground near a village in South Africa. The man told other people about the discovery, and more than a thousand people rushed to the field. They wanted to find some stones, too. A man found stones which looked like crystals in the ground near a village in South Africa. The man told other people about the discovery, and more than a thousand people rushed to the field. They wanted to find some stones, too. A man found stones which looked like crystals in the ground near a village in South Africa. A man found stones which looked like crystals in the ground near a village in South Africa. 
The man told other people about the discovery, and more than a thousand people rushed to the field. The man told other people about the discovery, and more than a thousand people rushed to the field. They wanted to find some stones, too. They wanted to find some stones, too. More than a thousand of treasure seekers raced to Zuoba village in South Africa, seeking their fortune in the soil. The influx came after a man dug up crystal-like stones in an open field, and he spread the word of the discovery. The provincial government shared a video on social media, expressing concerns of what is called a diamond rush. More than a thousand of treasure seekers raced to Zuoba, village in South Africa, seeking their fortune in the soil. The influx came after a man dug up crystal-like stones in an open field, and he spread the word of the discovery. The provincial government shared a video on social media, expressing concerns of what is called a diamond rush. More than a thousand of treasure seekers raced to Zuba, village in South Africa, seeking their fortune in the soil. The influx came after a man dug up crystal-like stones in an open field, and he spread the word of the discovery. The provincial government shared a video on social media, expressing concerns of what is called a diamond rush. More than a thousand of treasure seekers raced to Zuoba village in South Africa, seeking their fortune in the soil. More than a thousand of treasure seekers raced to Zuba village in South Africa, seeking their fortune in the soil. The influx came after a man dug up crystal-like stones in an open field, and he spread the word of the discovery. The influx came after a man dug up crystal-like stones in an open field, and he spread the word of the discovery. The provincial government shared a video on social media, expressing concerns of what is called a diamond rush. The provincial government shared a video on social media, expressing concerns of what is called a diamond rush. Twitter, millions of users' email addresses stolen in data hack. Data alleged to contain the email addresses of more than 200 million Twitter users is being given away for free on a hacker forum, reports say. The stolen information includes email addresses used to set up accounts, which will worry anonymous users who registered with a sensitive address. The BBC has not verified the data and breaches often turn out to contain duplicate, old or fake information. Twitter has not responded to requests for comment about the breach. A lone gal of cybercrime information firm Hudson Rock, which spotted the leak, said it contained more than 200 million email addresses and was significant. Mr. Gal told the BBC it would, unfortunately lead to a lot of accounts getting hacked, targeted with phishing, and doxed. Doxing is the act of publishing personal information about someone that can lead to their identification. The BBC has not downloaded the material, which has to be unlocked by using 20p worth of the forum credits. Data alleged to contain the email addresses of more than 200 million Twitter users is being given away for free on a hacker forum, reports say. The stolen information includes email addresses used to set up accounts, which will worry anonymous users who registered with a sensitive address. The BBC has not verified the data, and breaches often turn out to contain duplicate, old or fake information. Twitter has not responded to requests for comment about the breach. A lone gal of cybercrime information firm Hudson Rock, which spotted the leak, said it contained more than 200 million email addresses and was significant. Mr. Gal told the BBC it would unfortunately lead to a lot of accounts getting hacked, targeted with phishing, and doxed. 
Doxing is the act of publishing personal information about someone that can lead to their identification. The BBC has not downloaded the material, which has to be unlocked by using 20p worth of the forum credits. The most ancient and aromatic of all citrus fruits, citrons are far less known than their renowned yellow and orange cousins. But each summer, they lure Jews from all over the world. Every summer, in preparation for the Jewish holiday of Sukkot, Hasidic rabbis from all over the world travel to the northern part of Italy's Calabria region to hand-pick the best citron fruits for their lulav, the bundle of four plants used to bless the small, temporary huts built every autumn by Jews to celebrate the holiday. For about two weeks, the orchards around the town of Santa Maria del Cedro fill up with English, Russian, Hebrew, and Yiddish-speaking rabbis and their families. With the help of local farmers, they inspect the trees and analyze the fruits, sometimes with magnifying glasses, in their quest for citron perfection. Bottle of water. Bottle of water. Bottle of water. Bottle of water. Vegetable. Vegetable. Advertisement. Advertisement. Either. Either. Often. Often. Privacy. Privacy. Schedule. Schedule. Tomato. Tomato. Vitamin. Vitamin. Evolution. Evolution. Medicine. Medicine. Asia. Asia. Project. Project. Version. Version. Yogurt. Yogurt. She sees cheese. She sees cheese. Willis real rear wheel. Twelve twins twirled twelve twigs. A snake sneaks to seek a snack. Cooks cook cupcakes quickly. Eleven benevolent elephants. Four fine fresh fish for you. Wild vines make fine vintage wines. I saw a kitten eating chicken in the kitchen. If a dog chews shoes, whose shoes does he choose? The big bug bit the little beetle. Green glass globes glow greenly. Anyway, you were saying. Oh, yeah, um. Let's see. Yes, so I was in the museum and there were, I don't know, a hundred people waiting to get into the room. Finally, I got in, and I tried to see the Mona Lisa but I couldn't look at it. Why not? Because the room was filled with people taking photographs of it. Oh, right. Yes. And selfies. Wait a minute. You can take photos while you're in there? Yes, but you can't use flash. I don't know. Why do we take photos of everything we see when we travel? I know. And we never look at the photos after. Exactly. I'm tired of always taking photos. I don't feel I'm enjoying things. I still can't understand a word. Hmm, I don't see which button I'm supposed to push. Oh, that did something. Now there are subtitles. Great. Are you sure there's English on this? Yes, it's Spanish but it'll be on there too. Go back to the start. Yes, that's the best idea. 
Look, down in the bottom right corner, you can change it there. Great. Dot, switch off the light and don't step on my popcorn when you come back. Do you think the weather was a cause, Miss, er, Tandy? I don't think so, it wasn't raining at the time. That started soon afterwards. He wasn't looking. That was the main problem. Who wasn't looking? The guy on the bike. You know they go so fast, they think that they can do anything they want. He looked left, he was there right in front of me. But he didn't look right and that where that poor woman came from. She wasn't being dangerous, you don't think? Oh no. She only hit the pole because she was trying to avoid him. It was all him, you know. Do you think the weather was a cause, Miss, er, Tandy? I don't think so. It wasn't raining at the time. That started soon afterwards. He wasn't looking. That was the main problem. Who wasn't looking? The guy on the bike. You know they go so fast, they think that they can do anything they want. He looked left, he was there right in front of me. But he didn't look right and that where that poor woman came from. She wasn't being dangerous, you don't think? Oh no. She only hit the pole because she was trying to avoid him. It was all him, you know. Do you think the weather was a cause, Miss, er, Tandy? I don't think so, it wasn't raining at the time. That started soon afterwards. He wasn't looking. That was the main problem. Who wasn't looking? The guy on the bike. You know they go so fast, they think that they can do anything they want. He looked left, he was there right in front of me. But he didn't look right, and that where that poor woman came from. She wasn't being dangerous, you don't think? Oh no. She only hit the pole because she was trying to avoid him. It was all him, you know. Intense. Intense. Loyalty. Loyalty. Passion. Passion. Obvious. Obvious. Genuine. Genuine. Further. Further. Inquiry. Inquiry. Despite. Despite. Context. Context. Charity. Charity. Brought. Brought. Yawn. Yawn. Weave. Weave. Tremble. Tremble. Thrive. Thrive. Swear. Swear. 
Surmise. Surmise. Stretch. Stretch. Stimulate. Stimulate. Spread. Spread. Shiver. Shiver. Shrink. Shrink. Slay. Slay. Soothe. Soothe. Beneath. Beneath. Terrify. Terrify. Sever. Sever. Scrub. Scrub. Scarify. Scarify. Saturate. Saturate. Saddle. Saddle. Rewind. Rewind. Abusing. Abusing. Renounce. Renounce. Recite. Recite. Climb. Climb. Bear. Bear. Audit. Audit. Dare. Dare. Enlighten. Enlighten. Neglect. Neglect. Lean. Lean. Occupy. Occupy. Ancient. Ancient. Inquire. Inquire. Mislead. Mislead. Pacify. Pacify. Maintain. Maintain. Knit. Knit. Migrate. Migrate. Molt. Molt. Inhabit. Inhabit. Justify. Justify. 
indulge indulge eagerly eagerly prove prove prohibit prohibit prescribe prescribe pollute pollute perish perish encroach encroach astonish astonish announce announce admire admire dispose dispose assumed assumed float float consign consign adjust adjust breathe breathe crackle crackle contribute contribute capture capture impede impede acquire acquire implicate implicate handle handle decay decay inaugurate inaugurate frighten frighten forecast forecast guide guide derive derive imitate imitate glance glance absence absence chase chase hum hum favor favor decrease decrease 
develop develop idealize idealize conspire conspire accompany accompany climb climb flower flower hipster hipster achieve achieve brush brush No, it's not. I'm sorry. That's okay. Would you like anything else? You haven't eaten very much. No, thanks. I'm already full. Oh, come on. Have some more. No, I really can't. I've never been much of an eater. Have some coffee, then. That would be nice. How do you take it? With sugar, please. No cream. Here you are. Thank you. This is a nice flat. Hmm. There's a living room, there's a kitchen, a bedroom, and a bathroom, and there's a bidet. What's a bidet? It's like a toilet, only better. I'll let you figure it out. Well, none of my friends have a bidet. And even if I don't know what it is, they will be very jealous when I tell them. Well, here's the kitchen. Hmm, it's very small. Yes, it isn't very large, but there's a cooker and a fridge. There are some cupboards under the sink. Are there any plates? Yes, there are. Good. Are there any chairs in here? No, there aren't, but there are some in the living room. Hmm, there aren't any glasses. Yes, there are. They're in the cupboard. And uh, where's the toilet? Where is your meeting? In Dallas, Texas. How are you going? By plane. Do you like to fly? Sure. It's fast and comfortable. I'm afraid of flying. That's silly. Flying is very safe. Maybe, but I don't feel safe in a plane. I understand. A lot of people feel that way. I'd like to reconfirm my plane reservation. What flight are you taking? Flight 207. And your name, please? Henry Chandler. Yes, sir. You're booked on flight 207. Please check in at the airport an hour before flight time. Thank you. Which tourist attractions do you prefer when traveling? Historical places or natural landmarks? Well, historical places are always my first choice when traveling. What do you usually do when visiting historical places? I usually listen to the tour guide introducing the sites and take notes about important historical events. Can you name some historical places you have visited? Whenever I travel to a foreign country, I always visit its famous historical places. Some of them are the pyramids in Egypt, Angkor Wat in Cambodia, Stonehenge in England, and the Taj Mahal in India. What's your most favorite historical place? Why? I love the pyramids the most. Taking a tour around the pyramids, I can not only enjoy the gorgeous architecture, but also learn cultural and historical values of the ancient Egyptian culture.
What is the most famous historical place in your country? It's definitely the Statue of Liberty in New York City. What's special about it? The statue was gifted by the people of France. It is a symbol of freedom for the U.S. as well as a welcoming sight to people coming to the U.S. from another country. Where is it located? It's located on Liberty Island in New York Harbor, NYC. Should the youth visit historical places instead of other places? Sure. Nowadays, the youth should visit these kind of places more often in order to preserve historical and cultural values of their country. What are the benefits of reading a newspaper or magazine? Newspapers, magazines, can broaden your mind about thousands of things without the need to travel. How often do you read it? I read it every day. What's the best time to read the newspaper? I think the best time is in the morning when you start a new day. What types of magazines do you usually read? I usually read politics and fashion magazines. I also enjoy reading about culture and tourism. What's your favorite magazine? My favorite is the New York Times, which writes about all sorts of things, business, sports, movies, travel, books, jobs, education, and real estate. Do you read the paper or online news? I prefer online news to save money. How much does it cost you to buy paper newspaper per month? I only buy a monthly newspaper, so it doesn't cost much money, around $5 a month. What is the most popular magazine in your country? I think it would be Forbes magazine, a leading source for reliable business news and financial information. With the popularity of Internet, do you think newspapers and magazines will disappear? Yes, unfortunately, it's just a matter of time. How many events have you joined this year? What were they about? I have joined more than 10 events so far, most of which were about education. What was your most memorable event? The most memorable for me was an international study conference in which I was introduced to some famous universities in Europe to study overseas. Was it organized indoors or outdoors? It was an indoor event. Who sponsored the event? The event organizer was the Education Department of American Center, but the universities introduced in the conference were the ones who paid. Who went to the event with you? I went there with my friends, who shared the same interest in studying abroad as me. What were some performances in the event? There were not many performances. Each university representative just had a speech to introduce their school to students and then they hosted Q&A session. Was the event shown on TV? The event was not aired, but there were television advertisements for it. How would someone market an event? Taking advantage of social media is a smart way to promote an event. Are you free Friday night? I might not be in town. I'm not sure yet. A friend suggested I go to Vancouver. Well, a few of us are getting together, and I thought you might want to come too. What are you thinking of doing? We're not sure yet. We might go to a bar, but we'll probably go to see AI. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Well, come then. Sure. If I'm in town, I'll call you and let you know. Oh, Miss Wallace, long time no see. How are you? Good, thank you. How's your new job? I started working today. How does it seem so far? It's demanding, but I'm happy to be working. What's your boss like? He appears to be very thoughtful and kind, but they all do at first. 
I guess we will have to wait and see. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Take care. Did you see my car keys? They're on top of the TV. You're right. Thanks. Where are you going? To the supermarket. Again? Yes, we eat a lot. Do you want me to go with you? Sure, if you can. Good. The packages will be heavy. There is a new health store right up the road. Maybe since you guys eat a lot, you should try and eat more healthily. Maybe you're right. We have all put on a little weight. Diana! Oh, George. Hi, how are you? Listen, I'm in a terrible hurry. The bank closes in 20 minutes. Is your bank near here? Yes, it's only four blocks away, on Vine Street. Well, get in. I'll take you. Are you sure it's not out of your way? No, not at all. That is so nice of you, George. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. Sorry I'm late. I missed the bus. Oh, that's okay. I had time to clean up before you came. You don't look very good. I must be getting a cold. I've been sneezing all day. <gasps> Bless you. Thank you. You must be getting a cold. Why don't you go lie down? I'll bring you some aspirin. I don't see any aspirin in the medicine cabinet. We must be out of them. I'll go to the drugstore. Is there anything else we need? Could you get some... <gasps> I don't know if they sell achoo here, but I'll check. When can I see Dr. No? He won't be free until tomorrow. Can I make an appointment? Sure. How about tomorrow at 10 o'clock? Can you make it at 9? I'll check to see if he's available. I'm sorry, but he's tied up until 10 o'clock. Well, can't you squeeze me in somehow? I'm afraid not. How about after lunch? Will one o'clock be all right? That's perfect. Thank you. Excuse me. May I see your license? I'm afraid I've left it at home. In that case, you'll have to take it to the police station within five days. But, but why? You were speeding, ma'am. But I was only doing 75. There's a 70 kilometer hour speed limit on this road, ma'am. Is there? I didn't see a sign. Well, ma'am, we've been following you. So you were doing 75 too? No, ma'am. We were doing 90 kilometers an hour, and we couldn't catch you. Waiter, could we have the bill, please? Can I put it all on one bill? No, we'd prefer separate checks. Your bill's $18. That seems expensive. Would you check it again, please? Sorry, ma'am. This is your friend's bill. Here is yours. It's $24.16. Excuse me. Yes, can I help you? Yes, I'd like some information about buses, please. Where to? To Toronto. When? This Saturday. Morning or afternoon? In the afternoon, about 3 o'clock. There's one at 3.20. Thank you. That sounds perfect. I'll take it. Have you ever traveled abroad? If yes, what country was it? Yes, I have. I traveled to the USA last year with my family. Where is that country located? The USA is located in North America. What is it famous for? The USA is known for its cultural achievements and landmarks. What are the special food and drinks of that country? There are many. They are known for fast food, dairy, and many beverages. What do you like about that country? I like the fast pace of life and the various subcultures.
How many citizens are there in that country? The current population of the United States of America was over 324 million in 2016, which accounts for 4.3% of the total world population. What language do people there speak? The national language is English, but many people also speak Spanish, French, German, and Chinese. Do you want to go back there again? Sure. Why do people like to travel abroad? They just want to discover new places, learn new cultures, and maybe speak new languages. On what occasions do people in your country celebrate parties? There are many occasions when people throw parties, such as New Year's Eve, wedding engagements, family reunions, birthdays, etc. But sometimes people hold parties just when they meet up and want to have something fun to do. Are you a party animal? Yes, I am. I am crazy about going to parties. I love meeting friends, drinking, and talking. When do parties often start and finish? It depends on what kind of party it is. I believe the perfect time to have a party is in the evening, from 8 to 11 p.m. Where are the parties thrown? They are held inside or outside. Some formal events, like weddings, housewarmings, are organized inside, while others, like family reunions and birthdays, may be held outside. What do you usually wear when you come to a party? I often wear casual clothes, like a t-shirt and jeans if I go to informal parties, and a dress for formal ones. What do people do in the parties you attended? At the party, People talk, eat, and drink together. Some go there to find business opportunities and new partners. Do you enjoy drinking alcohol at the parties? Yes, a little beer can cheer me up. Do people have to bring anything to the party? It's not required, but sometimes visitors bring some gifts to show their love for the host. Why do people, especially the youth, Love going to parties. It's just a good way for them to chill out after a long day. Who is your favorite teacher? I like Mr. Tom the most. He is my English teacher. Is he a foreign teacher? Yes, he's from the U.S. What do you like about his lessons? I have fallen in love with his American accent, and he always shows us something new about the world outside of textbooks. What's he like? He's not only knowledgeable, but also very friendly. He always treats us like friends, not students. What does he usually wear when coming to class? He usually wears a gray suit when he comes to class. Do you love his subject? Yes, I enjoy English a lot. Do students in your class like him? Yes, all of us admire him. Do you want to be a teacher like him? No, although I am like him, my dream is not to become a teacher. I would like to be a chef. Have you ever been punished by him? No. He rarely punishes anyone. Do you want to see him again? Of course. He's a great mentor. What subjects did you learn in school? I learned math, science, physics, biology, geography, history, literature, English, art, and music. What subject did you like the most when you were at school? Were you good at it? I liked biology the most, although I was excellent at literature. Did your friends like that subject too? Yes, they did. They enjoyed every single biology lesson. Was the textbook written in English or any other language? It was written in English. Who taught that subject? My teacher was Miss Karen from the USA. 
How was the subject helpful to you? It helped me a lot in becoming a biology teacher. How often did you learn that subject? I often had biology lessons five times a week. How long did you spend on that subject at home? I spent roughly two hours per day studying biology at home. Have you ever attended any extra classes for that subject? Yes, I have. I usually attended evening classes. Is it important to study hard on both social sciences and natural sciences? No, it isn't. Students should study the ones they like and the ones that are helpful to their career path. What type of museum is popular in your country? There are many types of museums, but the most popular are historical museums. What is the most famous museum in your country? That would be the British Museum, located in London. What's special about it? I'm impressed by its large amount of historical, art, and cultural work. How many times have you visited that museum? I have visited the museum twice. What do you usually do when visiting a museum? I usually listen to the tour guide and take notes about important information. Are you allowed to take pictures there? No, the guards did not allow us to bring the camera in. How did you feel after visiting there? The overall experience was fantastic, and I learned so many things in just a few hours. What do you think is the importance of museums in history? Museums are an integral part of any country's history, and they keep history alive. Do you usually watch movies at home or at a movie theater? I usually watch movies on my laptop. Sometimes I go to the movie theater. Is watching movies at the theater more interesting than watching movies at home? Yes, definitely, because you can watch vivid images on a large screen with lively sound effects. How often do you go to the movie theater? I often go to the movie theater every weekend. What's your favorite type of movie? What movie of that type do you like? My favorite type is comedy because whenever I watch one, I feel like there are no more worries in the world. I love the Mr. Bean movie series. Was that movie adapted from a book? No, the story is derived from funny situations in real life. Who are the actors or actresses in the movie? Mr. Bean is the main character. He is played by Rowan Atkinson, who is from England. Was it recommended by your friend, teacher, or family? It was recommended by my classmate. Was the movie in your mother language or in English? It was in English, but I can also watch it with subtitles. Should children watch violent movies? I don't believe so. Young children are very impressionable, and it could lead them to wanting to imitate the behavior. What's the most important factor of a great movie? I believe that plot and actors are among the factors which decide the success of a movie. Did you hear that Sarah cheated on the test and got an A? I can't believe she got away with it. When you look back on your life, do you have any regrets? Yeah, I wish I hadn't invested all that money in stocks. You'll be late for school. What will you tell the teacher? I'll make up an excuse. Did you find any mistakes when you looked through my essay? Yes, I found a couple. Did you hear that Will made a house out of an old train car? Wow, he dreams up such interesting things. Did you see Bill and Monica kissing at the party last night? Yes, it made me want to throw up. He said he'd be here at 8 o'clock, but it's 8.30. Should we wait for him?
Yes, maybe he got lost. I'm going to get an orange from the refrigerator. Do you want anything? Yes, could you bring out some watermelon, please? The weather is warmer this summer than it has been in the past. Why is that? I don't know. Some people think the warmer weather was brought about by air pollution. Why are you going to go to a movie with Tom? I thought you were angry at him. I was angry at him, but we made up with each other. Now we are good friends again. Where is Donald? I thought he was going to play soccer with us tonight. He was going to, but some relatives called on him unexpectedly. I would like to get the trees in the photo too. Okay, I'll just back up a little. I really don't like the new coffee machine. You should bring it up at the next staff meeting. They had to call off the soccer game yesterday. How come? I am hungry, but I don't want to cook. I am hungry too. Let's call up the pizza place and order a cheese pizza. The taxi will be here in a few minutes. Let's carry out your luggage. Your team is really far behind. Yes, I don't think we can catch up with yours. Please check my homework. Sure, if I come across any mistakes, I'll tell you. Come out of the sun before you get a sunburn. That's a good idea. I'll sit in the shade with you. I'd be happy to help you study. Thanks, I can always count on you. I want to eat this apple, but it looks rotten. Just cut off the rotten part and eat the rest. You look really tired. I couldn't fall asleep last night. I can't figure out where I put my glasses. Look on your hand. I'd like to apply for a credit card. Okay, just fill out this form and sign it. Thanks for giving me a ride to the library. No problem, I'll stop the car in front of the library and you can get out quickly. That big guy keeps telling me to do his homework. Don't give in. Learning to play the guitar is really hard. Don't give up, you will learn if you keep practicing. This movie was really boring. Yes, it just seemed to go on for hours. Here is the pizza you ordered. Hold on, I'll go get my wallet. Let's hurry up and finish before dinner. Good idea, I'm hungry. Please tell your kids to keep off the furniture. I will, sorry, Mr. President. I am really nervous about the test. Just keep up a positive attitude and you will do fine. Let's go out for a nice dinner. Good idea. I am tired of living on spaghetti and water. I'm longing for the ocean. Okay, let's go to the beach. I'm looking forward to our vacation next month. Me too. It's going to be fun. Look out, you almost stepped on my mouse. Sorry, I didn't see it. Let's look over our travel plans again. Why, we're just going to the store. You are supposed to come tomorrow, not today. Sorry, I mixed up the dates. I want to buy a shirt, but I don't know which color to get. I'll help you pick out a color. This room is a mess. Pick up your toys. Okay, Mom, I will. I think we're lost. Let's pull over and look at the map again. Let's go for a walk. Okay, let me put on my shoes. Sir, please put out your cigarette. Sorry, I didn't know this was a non-smoking area. 
I think we should put together a ski club. Good idea. I'll ask my friends at work.